Hey there! This pen has certainly been around. This pen has been reviewed by um, Figboot, it's been reviewed by Gourmet Pens, and it's now made its way to me. Here we have the Mont Blanc 4810 Patron of the Arts, Moctezuma, named after the um, um, Aztec Emperor. It was crowned in 1440. Uh, there is a lot going on with this pen. There is a lot going on in ways of detail and such. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. It is super heavy, so I am terrified I'm going to drop this. I will therefore put this down and cover the parts of the pen, do a writing sample, tell you likes and dislikes. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, it was sent to me, lent to me. <laughs> by Joost Appelboom of Appelboom Pen. Thank you so much, Joost. All right, let's have a look at this pen. This is the Mont Blanc, uh, patron of art, homage to Moctezuma I. Limited edition to 48, 10 pens, height of the Mont Blanc. Uh, it comes with this extensive set of booklet file things like there is a lot going on they do pay a lot of attention to this kind of stuff which I do think is very nice uh, this particular number is 0435 so if at some point you own this uh, it's uh, it was the one that was reviewed oh I know okay I'm gonna put this in sometimes you you really try hard but no matter what you do you just can't get it in um, there we go, okay, more or less, no, okay, so there we go, then we have the actual box, outer sleeve, and then this beautiful box, I will say I'm not being sarcastic, I do think it's a beautiful box, it feels like wood, um, and it's heavy, it's lacquered, and this, this green is, is absolutely gorgeous, and as you can see, super reflective. That's a tripod, it's attacking the earth, it came from Mars. Okay, um, we have the, the box for the pen, and then here, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for this noise, I'm sorry. Uh, here we have Mont Blanc homage to Moctezuma, the first limited edition, and it has my fingerprints on it. Not anymore. Okay, the actual pen. It's a solid piece. Let me zoom in. I'll put it next to a Pilot Metropolitan. Uh, it's chunky and it's girthy, right? Not so much the length, but it's truly girthy. Okay, what can I tell you about this pen? Well, there certainly are some things to talk about. Um, it comes in extra fine through double broad nibs, as well as oblique medium, oblique broad and oblique double broad. Moctezuma I was an Aztec emperor who was crowned in 1440, emperor of the Aztec Empire, the overall design of this pen is based on the Atlatl, which is a, uh, a spear-throwing device. They're very interesting to look up online. Uh, and there are, as always with these kinds of pens, there is a lot of eye for detail. So we have that, that spear-throwing device, the Atlatl. Uh, we have the, um, the cone, which is hammer-finished here. Uh, that is actually the shape of a sacrificial knife from the Aztecs. The petrol and carmine red color scheme is the color scheme of the royal cloak that the Aztec emperors wore. And there are some hieroglyphs on here. Um, the uh, start and end year of Moctezuma's reign. Uh, there is another glyph on the nib, which I'll show you in just a second, which is an engraving of the Aztec glyph um, for, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Tenochtitlan, uh, which was the capital. Uh, uh, of the Aztecs, it's now Mexico City, and um, so I think that kind of has, that, that covers most of it. Beautiful uh, engraving, which I think is then lacquered because you don't feel any texture, but this does look very attractive. Down to every detail, right? Even here in this ring, as you can see, I'm trying to make it catch the light properly, uh, you, you can see all this little detail, which is very nice. The detail here, the spear, like it's, it's, there's a lot going on. And I, I do think it's, it's, it's really quite attractive. 
on the bottom here uh, we have uh, what, what, what I assumed was a, uh, a sort of a, a compass, but I, I'm probably wrong, so correct me please, with the Mont Blanc logo, uh, and you can't really stand up the pen because this part sticks out, but this is completely flat. I thought it would be kind of cool to stand it up. Anyway, that's just me. Um, now, you might think, but I don't, I don't see a nib. Is this the cap? Where's the cap? Well, actually, almost everything you see here is cap. I'll come back to that in likes and dislikes, but the, you unscrew this end, okay, this feels to me, I'm, I'm sorry, but this felt very Indiana Jones, like you, you try to unscrew something and then, here's the pen, you see, so you have this as cap, and, and, and this is pen, and if I put that next to Pilot Metropolitan, things get very interesting, don't they? Okay, so here we have that red pen, I'm going to carefully put away the cap, pen, that, that beautiful, uh, Carmine Red, I do think, is very nice, very attractive. Um, but but here's the actual pen. So 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 all this is just cap. Okay, uh, we have here uh, this this particular um, nib, which is nice, which has that that glyph. I'll try to take a close-up picture for the website with the glyph for for the again probably butchering it, but Tenochtitlan uh, city. If if anyone has the correct pronunciation on where to put the stress, then tell me. I'm assuming because there's an accent on the final A, there's a stress point there. But anyway, um, please correct me. Uh, Mont Blanc, 750, 18 carat. Um, it has the 4810 on there. You have the section that tapers down, flares out a little bit. We have this barrel. Um, and then it is a piston fill pen, so this actually turns. You pull it out, it turns, and that's actually the piston. I don't want to fiddle with it because there is ink in it. Um, it's not huge. It's uh, it's uh, pretty normally. Oh, sorry, that's not useful, is it? Pretty normally sized pen. Is that the cap is massive? I think that's what I have to say about this. So let's have a look at how it writes. Here we have. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here we have the, I'm not going to write down Patron of the Arts if you don't mind, uh, Moctezuma 1, um, and I'm not entirely sure what nib this is. I couldn't find an indication on the box, but I just did because I was looking on the wrong end of the box. And the ink is, this is an SBRE Brown review, you see what you see is what you get. Uh, Ackermann delves blau, there is no editing, there's no covering up mistakes or stupidities. It's all live and real, and that rawness is what you like in it. The quick brown atlatl was used to spear the what we have, jaguar? I don't know. Um, smooth writer. Which you would expect from a Mont Blanc. I mean, they they're not necessarily my my pens just because of the designs, but they 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 do often make nibs that are, are really nice. So nicely tuned, not too wet, not too dry. Uh, nice little bit of line variation. As always, very careful. This is not a flex nib. Um, possible. Reverse writing definitely gives you good extra fine and is certainly possible it seems and that's very nice. Now I think what we need to do is talk about likes and dislikes. Did I mention the price? It's 2396 euros without VAT. <laughs> yeah. Likes and dislikes in other words. What do I like? What do I not like about this particular pen? Good question. Um, th there is a lot that I like. The the eye for detail is great. I I, I like the way they they've shaped this. Um, I I really appreciate the eye for detail. I do think it is very attractive. This petrol green. It, it's a very attractive color with. 
nice detail in it. It's super heavy. It feels like, like a solid, solid pen. Uh, I have not yet weighed it. I look forward to seeing what the weight is. Uh, by the way, you know, measurements and such are all on the website, right? sbrebrown.com. Great detail, cool looks. I mean, you have to give it to them. It's an original pen. It's not another one of these. Yeah, it looks, it looks very different. I like that. I really do. Um, so I like, I like the detail. They do... Montblanc does this thing where they make these limited edition pens and they tack on and in and near the pen as much detail and, and stuff as they can. They've done that well here. I mean, I, I, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. It's something completely different, a completely different design, and I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the boldness in that. Um, things I don't like so much. I mean, it writes well. It, it, it's a Mont Blanc. It does everything it's supposed to do. Uh, it's it's a cool a cool you know, mechanism. I, 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 I like all that. Um, things I don't like so much. Well, I mean, there is the price. At 2,396 euros and 69 cents, that is without 21% VAT, it's exorbitantly expensive. This is a very, very expensive pen. I just, for the fun of it, converted this to Canadian dollars yesterday, and it's 3,800 Canadian. So, I mean, this this is the the price of a, of a smaller used car, basically. And that's okay. Some pens are like that, but it is very, very expensive. My biggest issue by far with the pen, by far, and this... I, I've tried to come up with something objective, not about, well, I don't like the, the hammer. Like, I mean, that, that's very subjective. My biggest issue by far with the pen is, there's more cap than pen. The, 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 the cap takes up by far most space. And it's huge and heavy, and then you get this, the dinky little pen out of it that's, that's thin and, and, and small. Still quite heavy, that, that top end is, is, the cone is very heavy, um, but I mean... You look at this cap, and then you get this nib, which looks to me like it's number five. Um, so yeah. If you want a really fancy cap, then you should buy this. <laughs> yeah, kind of killed the evening, didn't it? Anyway, so that's that's what I have. Uh, I think it's beautifully made. I really think so. I think it's beautiful. I mean, if you're very much into Aztec culture, this would be awesome. And that's what they go for. It's with, with all the, the, the patrons of the art and all the, the series they have, the, the rights editions. They know that. And it's good marketing. It's, it, it, that works. But it's, it's a really impressive cap. So let's leave it at that. I hope this was useful. Um, certainly an exclusive pen. What do you think? Let me know. I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.